Today we're, we're going to use base 10 blocks to understand decimals. So we're all really familiar with our base 10 blocks. Now we're going to understand how to use them when we're working with decimals, especially when we're multiplying with decimals. Okay, just a quick review with place value. Let's look at this. Um, we know that um, when we're looking with whole numbers, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on, place value. Once we have this decimal, we know that anything to the right of it is actually less than one whole. So anything in this place value right here is going to be a, in the tenths. This place value is in the hundredths. So just for example, if I had a one, two, the one is in the tenths place value, that two is in the hundredths place value. Therefore, if my number was 0 0.12, I know that it would be 12 hundredths is that number. All right, so when we're using base 10 blocks to represent decimals, we're actually going to use the hundreds as our one whole. So the hundreds block is our one whole. In this case, we're going to, for example, it's going to be 1.0. One whole number is, one whole is one whole number. Therefore, each individual unit in which we know there's a hundred of them in a hundreds block is going to make up one whole. Therefore, the tenths is going to equal, if we have a decimal, 0.1. That's one tenth is this number right here. So that's part. So ten of these is going to make up one whole because we know that there's ten, ten blocks in one hundred, and our ones are going to be 0 0.01, which is our hundredths place value. So the tens are going to represent our tenths place value, and our ones are going to represent our hundredths place value when we're working with decimals and base 10 blocks. So let's look a little bit about how we are going to actually use that. Now, quick review. The first this says the first spot right of the decimal is the tenths. So if this is our decimal point, this number right here is in our tenths place value. So here's some examples. Right here we have 0.2. It's the first number to the right of the decimal point. Our decimal point is right here and that 2 is in the tenths place value. So we read this number has 2. You're going to say the actual number, so 2 and then tenths. Let's look at another example. Here we have 23 and then we have a decimal point and one number to the right of it which is an 8 so we know that this is 23 and, we always say and for the decimal point, and 8 tenths. Let's look at this number. Here we have four holes, so if we're going to write that, we're going to write four. We have our decimal, so we write four and three, because there's a three in that tenths place value. And then we always want to write the place value, so three tenths. Perfect. All right, right here we have one, because there's one hole, decimal place, and we have a one in that tenths place value, so one and one tenth. All right, I want you guys to write what this number is. We have 145 and, there's a decimal point right there, and seven tenths. Okay, so when we're using our base 10 blocks to represent, fra uh, to represent decimals, remember our hundreds block is equal to one whole. Over here we have 0 0.6, which we could say is six tenths, because that six is in the tenths place value. Remember, whatever number is directly to the right of that decimal point is in the tenths place value. So to represent that, we are going to use, we know we don't have any numbers in the whole, we don't have any whole numbers, so we know we're not going to use any of these guys. No hundreds base block, base ten blocks. But we have six in the tenths value, and we know that our tenths block represents the tenths, so we're going to use one, two, three, that's three tenths, four, four tenths, oops, sorry, five tenths, and six tenths. Together, these make up six tenths. All right, let's try another problem. Let's look at this number. The first thing we want to do is say to ourselves, what is this number? Okay, we have a zero in the, we have in the ones place value, so there's no whole numbers. So, and we have a two in the tenths place value. So, all you do is write the, the number, so two and then that place value, so two tenths. Okay, then we think, how do we make this number using base 10 blocks? Remember, we don't use any whole, any hundreds blocks because there's no whole numbers, but remember we have a zero. We've got two in the tenths place value, so we know, yep, we're gonna use two base 10 blocks to represent two tenths.
2 base tenths box equals 2 tenths. Okay, here we're going to practice writing words to represent our decimals. So the first thing you want to do is you start with the whole numbers when we're talking, when we're going to explain these numbers. So we've got 12 and, we have a decimal point, so that's how we say it, 12 and, there's a 5 in the tenths place value, so we just say the number 5 and then what place value it's in. So 12 and 5 tenths. So let's look at our numbers. So we've got 12 and 5, and what place value is that? 5 tenths. There we go. All right, let's do one more. Here we say the whole number first, 25. So let's start with that. 25, we've got a decimal, so we always represent that by saying and. 25 and 3 tenths. Say the number first and then the place value. All right, guys, in your notebooks, I want you to write these two next two numbers down for um, in your notes. So this is going to be number 1. So I want you to write the words of what this number is, and then number two, write the words of what that number is. All right, now it's a little bit more practice, but the opposite way. So now we have 0 0.9. How do we write that in words? All right, so we know there's no whole numbers, and we have a decimal. Then the, num the digit directly to the right of the decimal is the tenths, and there's nine of them. So we say the number first, nine, and then the place value, tenths. So we know that this... 9 tenths equals 0 0.9. All right, now let's look at the hundredths place value. So we just learned that any number directly to the right of the decimal point is the tenths. The next number over is in the hundredths place value. So if I had a 2 right here, a 0 right here, decimal point, 0, 2, we know that that is, you say the number first, 2, and then the place value, hundredths. All right, let's get some practice with our base 10 blocks. Now remember, this the hundreds base 10 blocks represent a whole number. We don't have any whole numbers. The base 10, uh, the 10 blocks represent our um, tens place value, which is right here. We got four of them, and our ones represent our hundreds. So we have no whole numbers, and we have a decimal point and four in the tens place value. So we've got 1, 10, 20, 30, 40. And then we've got a 2 in that hundreds place value, so we're going to represent that with two of these. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 for 40 in that tens place value, because remember that 4 really represents 10. And then we've got 2 hundredths, which represents 42. 42 hundredths. I'm going to write that down just so you guys can see. I want you to get practice writing words um, from our numbers. So with decimals, you're going to say that write the whole number first. So 42, and then you write the place value of that second number. So the two is in the hundredths. So hundredths, remember, it's not hundredths, but hundredths. So remember to make sure to write the number first and then the place value of that second, of that last number. All right, let's get one more practice with these. All right, first thing we see, we have no whole numbers. So we know we're not going to use any of those. We have no tenths, so we're not going to use any um, of those blocks, but we have seven hundredths. So let's represent that using one, two, three, four, five, sorry about that, five, six, seven. All right, this represents seven hundredths. Remember, if we're going to write this in words, say, write the number first, so we've got a seven, and then the place value which is in the hundredths place value, so seven hundredths. All right, one more. We've got a three in the tenths place value, so now we're going to represent that with one, two, three of these, three tenths and three hundredths. One, two, three. Notice, again, we're not going to use any of these um, hundredths blocks because we don't have any whole numbers. All right. Just a quick review of how we're going to write um, numbers in the hundredths place value. First thing we do is write the whole number. Here we see we have 1 is our whole number. So we're going to start by writing 1. Step 2, write the word and. And represents the decimal. 1 and. Then we write the whole number behind the place value. Here we have 3 and a 2, which makes 
32, so 1 and 32, 32 what? You've got to write the word hundredths. 1 and 32 hundredths. All right, let's do this next one. We're going to write the whole number first, so we see that the whole number is 36. We see a decimal, so we immediately know we're going to write the word and. 36 and, no tenths, and we have 3 in the hundredths place value, so we're going to write and 3 hundredths. All right, for your next homework problems, guys, I want you to write um, number three and number four in words. All right, one more practice. What is 0 0.09 written in words? All right, we have no whole numbers. We've got a decimal. We have no tenths, but we have nine in the hundredths place value. So we're going to say the number first, nine, and then the word hundredths because the nine is in the hundredths place value. So we know that... 9 tenths doesn't work, 0 and 9 tenths doesn't work, 9 hundredths. We know that C is our correct answer because 9 is in the hundredths place value. All right, guys, have a good night and good luck.